I started surfing when I was four. I don't really get scared in the ocean. It feels like it's like wanting you to catch more and stuff. My name's Quincy Simons and they call me the Flying Squirrel. We just returned home from living in America and we came up to Surface Paradise for a um, holiday. Jake was getting up very early in the morning um, to go surfing down at Snapper and she asked me where her daddy was in the mornings and I said that he was surfing. Quincy being as stubborn as she can be, stood at the door for 45 minutes waiting for her dad to come home and said, Daddy, I'm going to come surfing with you tomorrow. And he said, OK, do you know what surfing is? And she said, no, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. The very first time I saw her out in the ocean, she, she changed. She, she became a complete person. I'm amazed by it, I'm really proud of it, but to be honest, I, I can't comprehend how she does it and how she's done it so quickly. She's probably close to the best six-year-old skater and surfer in the world right now. It was a conscious decision for Kim and I to start a family and it was something we both wanted at the same time so it, it was such an exciting thing and then she kind of came into the world in a way that we hadn't expected I guess. When Quincy was born there was several complications. Um, she got rushed to the Melbourne Children's Hospital neonatal unit. She was in ICU for two weeks in Melbourne and then we got transferred back to our local hospital and she was in ICU for another week. We took her home, we had her home one day and she went into what was called adrenal crisis. So we were rushed back to the emergency room and then on and off we spent more time in hospital for two and a half years than we spent at home. At that stage I was still working away so I, I took some time off to, to be home and financially I had to go back to work so uh, a lot of the stuff that happened with Quincy I wasn't, um, you know, I kind of wasn't there for it and you know that was hard. Uh, Lots and lots of testing later, it was discovered that she has an adrenal insufficiency, so her body doesn't create cortisone, so therefore she is steroid dependent. Can you shake that up for me? <laughs> steroid dependency at this age requires medication three times a day. Um, times of sickness needs intensive medical treatment. If I break my bone or something, you can look at my medical alert and it tells you what you can do. She's a lot more stable now, but it's through um, very, very careful monitoring from many different doctors. Jake works away a lot, and Quincy got to the stage where I wasn't allowed to drive down to the beaches. I'd have to take the back roads if I needed to get anything in town, um, because she'd be in tears looking at the waves that she couldn't go surfing. If I was away for three weeks and we'd come home, and of course she hadn't been able to surf for for that time I was away and the very first thing we would do was go find waves. We tried very many different options and then contacted surfing services and they put us onto Tony. The connection that they have is amazing. Um, I trust Tony 100% with her. I know he's going to keep her safe and Quincy's just ecstatic to be able to go out and catch waves even though her daddy's not home. Out of 10, what does that wave work here? Me? No, no, the Oh, nine. I reckon maybe seven and a half. I reckon you've got more in you. Quincy uh, is an amazing human. She's like no other human I've ever met before. She has no fear and she tackles life head on every single day. 
My background, I spent about 10 years with Surfing Australia as their National High Performance and Coaching Director. Um, I worked with some of the best athletes in the country, ranging from uh, Owen Wright, Dion Aegis, Stephanie Gilmore, um, now they're all elite athletes on the world stage. Quincy um, has all that potential, um, but she's got a long way to go. Quincy started skating about two to three months after she started surfing. The swell got really, really big and we just couldn't find anywhere safe for her to go out. So she actually asked us if she could get a skateboard. We went and got a skateboard and started skating. I don't have a favourite out of surfing and skating. I like them the same. I want to be a pro surfer and skater. If she chooses it as a profession, you know, I, I just hope it's for the right reasons and we'll support her, you know, whichever way she wants to go. I definitely think she has the ability to go all the way if it stays fun for her, if she doesn't burn out. Um, there's a lot of things that can impact a, an athlete's ability to reach their potential. Sometimes, you know, it, it's a battle to keep her healthy. If she can wake up every day and just be happy being herself, whether it's surfing, skating, playing the drums, riding her bike, it doesn't matter. It's all about being happy. You know, I hope in 30 years time we're still going on surf trips together.